Hi, I'm Mike Smith. I'm an attorney with Smith Barrett LLC. We're an estate planning elder law and special needs firm in Savannah, Georgia. One of the things that our firm focuses on is helping folks to plan for long-term care. And oftentimes, the point of contact for our firm is gonna be the children of a senior who lives in our community. So we may get a call from a child who lives in California, whose parents live here in Savannah, and they're asking, you know, what do we need to do? Uh, dad's developed Alzheimer's, mom's unable to take care of him anymore, uh, and we need to make some decisions about how to take care of him, uh, where he should live, uh, what facility, if he needs to go to a facility, and, and the financial arrangements that need to be made. So uh, we have professionals that, we're, uh, that we work with on a regular basis that we'll refer to for decisions about what facilities to live in, and then we'll help with putting together the right legal documents so that decisions can be made about financial matters and, and healthcare matters going forward. So for example, that child from California that called us, assuming that the parents want that child to be in charge of things, we could create uh, powers of attorney that would allow him or her to make financial decisions for mom and dad. And then we can also create an advanced directive for healthcare, which would allow them to make medical decisions if mom and dad can't communicate. So for example, if dad's had a stroke and he can't talk with the doctor anymore, then that child under that advanced directive for healthcare will be able to make those decisions with the doctor on the appropriate course of care. Uh, and then the, the other piece that, that we do a lot of is, is planning for paying for the long-term care. So what types of uh, trust do we need in place? What types of um, you know, insurance might be appropriate to help pay for the long-term care? Are we trying to qualify for Medicaid? Do we need VA uh, aid and attendance, veterans aid and attendance to help pay? So those are the kinds of things that we help families with. And as I said, a lot of times it's the children of seniors in our community that we're, that we're actually working with.